Happy Mike to work day! Happy Mike to work day! our program we're going to start off with our acting director mr frank murphy who will set us off thank you guys so much for being out here today good morning everybody good morning, frank. i know a lot of us remember when bike to work day 15 or 20 years ago and each time we come out and announce maybe one new bike lane that we'd have in place things have changed a lot since then we uh have kind of a dual purpose today one is bike to work day and the other is to kind of celebrate the expansion of our bike share program which of course you know there's a station right behind everybody there uh, I'd like to give a shout out to a few folks. Uh, Michael Kelly, Executive Director of the Baltimore Metropolitan Council is here, and of course you know this is a regional event that they're very much involved in. Uh, we have Tony Campbell, the uh, State Highway Administration's Bike and Pedestrian uh, Project Coordinator. Uh, Paul Comfort, MTA Administrator. I'd like to say something in particular about the MTA, how helpful they've been to our bike share expansion. They really understand the concept of the last mile, so that when you take transit, get off a bus or light rail or, or a subway, train um, that you know you may still have a mile or so to get to your path and by having bike share stations uh, located at transit stops it allows you to take a bike share bike for the rest of your trip and um, we really appreciate MTA support of a number of our bike share stations. Um, I'd like to thank Regina Cooper Avarella who's here from the uh, AAA and you might not think about AAA when it comes to bicycles but their services are expanding to embrace the bicycle community I'm sure she'll talk about that. Um, I'd also like to thank John Laria. John's been the you know, working very hard to promote bicycle uh, um, issues, issues of importance to the bicycle community as chair of the mayor's bicycle community. i uh, also like to thank the DOT team, um, Caitlin Doolin, who was our bicycle planner, not, not with us anymore. She moved on to the consultant world, but uh, is largely responsible for a lot of the infrastructure we have today. We have Jay Decker with us now, who handles our bike share, um, our bike share program and has kind of doubled as our bicycle coordinator in the meantime. Uh, Veronica McBath, she's uh, off this week, but is very much with us in spirit. And Tammy Walters, our uh, marketing coordinator. Um, some of you might have seen last night on Channel 45, we were able to show off the Bike to Work uh, shirt. A um, little bit more about bike share, as you probably know, we have, uh, I think, 24 stations now. Some came online last night. Ah, oh, okay. Thanks. Um, also want to acknowledge uh, Councilman Piggott and Council President Jack Young, and I understand the mayor has joined us. Oh, and Councilman Bullock, thank you. Hard to see when the sun's in your eyes. Uh, well, so I guess, um, do I introduce Paul? Whatever you want. Let the mayor talk. Oh, you're here, thank you. <laughs> Great, well, <laughs> and now I'd like to introduce my boss, the mayor of Baltimore, Catherine Pugh. So, I know John and I know Leon Road, would you, oops, did you run? Okay, I was going to say, I know they rode. And I know a lot of folks rode today. And, you know, this is really symbolic of what we want more folks to do in our city, and that's ride their bikes. As you well know, we've set up bike and ride and bike shares right behind you so that we can get people excited about uh, biking, riding. Uh, we, we run, too. So. And like I, I get up in the morning at 5 a.m. and I run in the morning, so uh, and then my day starts really early, so probably about 7 o'clock, 7:30 a.m. But I just wanted to say thank you to all of you who came out to share in this experience, and we're doing some great things around biking in the city, and we need people to be cooperative and understanding and to work with us. And oh, look at our cameraman! Y'all see our camera? <laughs> you just came back from a long bike trip, right? And how long did you ride? 400 miles. 400 miles. Let's give Mark a big round of applause. <laughs> so, you know, this is going on 20 years of celebrating uh, Bike to Work Day. And I remember when, uh, right before I was elected to the city council, we were doing Bike to Work Days. And, you know, this is happening all around the country because we're trying to get people to get out of these cars, stop, uh, stop pollution in our city, uh, and make sure that our communities are healthy and safe. And that's what happens when we bike to work. And plus, you get to see the city in a, in a different way. And even when you run, I mean, you really get to see the city. 
and you begin to appreciate so much of what we have in our city. So I'm really thankful for all of those who are cycling all over our region today. There's probably about 2,000 people who are participating in Bike to Work Day. Uh, we have, since October 2016, I think we have now, what, 21 stations, uh, the largest electric bike share program in North and South America. Yo, hey, let's give the city a big round of applause. And I'm really grateful for what we're trying to do as agencies. One of the things I tell my folks is, you know, it's about collaboration. So there are all types of agencies you would be surprised are engaged when we try to make sure that biking in our city is safe. And so I, too, want to just say thank you all for sharing in this great day. And more importantly, let's get more people on bikes. Let's get them out excited about our city, riding around our city, seeing our city. You see, what I'm seeing a lot of what's happening in, in our city. Many of our tourists come to our city and they get on the bikes and ride. So now we got to get our families and our friends on the bike share program. You all participate, excite people about the program, and let's get more people biking in Baltimore. Have a great day. Thank you, Mayor Pugh. Um, I'd like to introduce our MTA Administrator, Paul Comfort, who, like I said, has been a great partner in our bike share program. Paul? Thank you. All righty. Thanks, Frank. Let's give the mayor another round of applause. Isn't she a vibrant leader for the city? And what a great partner to have at the MTA as we provide the transit system. Um, I put up here a Baltimore Link bike helmet, and the reason for that is we are a proud uh, sponsor and participant with the city. There Everybody we go. should have one of these on. Now, did you all ride with your helmet? There we go. <laughs> Put this down. There you go. We want you with your helmets on. That's right. We we don't need to give emergency services more work to do, do we? <laughs> so, uh, but we're we're real happy at MTA to participate in uh, Bike to Work Day and also in the whole biking phenomenon that's occurring all across America. And you may say, what do bikes have to do with transit? Well, in the transit world, we call it the last mile and the first mile solution, meaning you can just leave your car at home now. You don't need to even drive your car and contribute to being to Baltimore being the fifth most congested city in America. We want to reduce congestion. That's a big part of what transit's about. And getting on your bike at one of the uh, bike share docks that are all over the city now is a great way to do it. We have them installed at a half dozen of our train stations. Five more to come. We'll have hundreds of uh, bike share locations at our at our train stations at our light rail, our subway, and our mark train stations. We're also happy to tell you that as part of the Baltimore Link investment that Governor Hogan made here in the city, we're also adding 83 new bike, uh, bike docks for people to bring their own uh, bikes anywhere in our system. And so we've got about 40 or 50 of them already installed, another 20 or 30 to come over the next month or two. So we're making sure that our transit system is bike accessible. And that's a big part of making sure that you can get to work in an efficient fashion. We're also excited to work with uh, the city, Frank, on our new bus-only lanes, one of which is uh, being painted this week on Baltimore Street, right after we had um, Pratt and Lombard Street, and after that will be Fayette and some more streets in the city. Again, helping you um, reduce the friction for transit in the city and get to where you want to go in an efficient time. Thanks again for Mayor Pugh and how we're working so well together with the administration now and making sure that this city is a transit-friendly city, a bike-friendly city, and a great way for our operations to work together. Thank you. We'll hear from Mr. Michael Kelly from the Baltimore Metropolitan Council. Uh, good morning. On behalf of the Baltimore Metropolitan Council, I'd like to thank Mayor Pugh for having us here today and helping to arrange all this work and all the great work they're doing with bikes in Baltimore City. Uh, the Metropolitan Council is the host of our region's Council of Governments and manages transportation planning around the region. And Bike to Work Day is really a regional event with events here in Baltimore City and Annapolis and Columbia all the way up as far as Aberdeen, Maryland. And as the mayor said, we have over 2,000 riders out on the road today, which is a record for us, and we couldn't be happier about that. Bike to Work Day is a time to celebrate biking throughout the region. We're grateful to have the support of some many private businesses and nonprofit organizations who help us orchestrate and run these events. We'd especially like to thank our platinum sponsors this year, Merritt Athletic Club, Clean Air Partners, the Central Maryland Regional Transportation Agency, the Baltimore Bicycle Club, and Race Pace Bicycles. And finally, we also want to recognize the very conscientious drivers who give people three feet, who, who drive safely and let our bikers get to where they need to be in a safe way as well. Uh, next, I'd like to introduce Regina Cooper Avarella, uh, Public and Government Affairs Manager for AAA Atlantic, who is here to speak about how AAA continues to seek ways to improve traffic safety for all road users. 
Thank you, Michael. Uh, again, also I would like to thank Mayor Pugh, uh, the City Department of Transportation, as well as our state partners and the Baltimore Metropolitan Council for giving AAA the continued opportunity to partner and to help get the message out to motorists about safely sharing the roads with bicyclists. Our roads and streets are filled with not only motorcyclists, cars, bicycles, so we all need to be mindful of that, particularly as our bicycling community uh, increases. And as uh, Frank mentioned earlier, many of you obviously know AAA as that company that comes and tows your vehicle when you break down. Two years ago, uh, in conjunction with Bike to Work Day, we launched here in the AAA Mid-Atlantic region bike service for our AAA members. So if you're already a AAA member and you're also a bicyclist, we will come and rescue you, come to your aid if your bicycle breaks down. Uh, since our inception back in 2015, we've come to the aid of over 250 bicyclists across the Mid-Atlantic region. So uh, we recognize the importance of continuing to be uh, a partner with the community, uh, continuing to look for ways to provide benefits to our members, and uh, providing service to bicyclists was an important part of us doing that, and, and quite frankly, a natural fit for AAA. So again, thank you so much for the opportunity to be here and for allowing AAA to help get this uh, message out and to remind motorists about sharing the road safely. Thank you. Uh, next is John Laria. Thanks, Regina. Good morning. So, I have the privilege of chairing the Mayor's Bicycle Advisory Commission, and um, it's great to be here on Bike to Work Day. This is about a multimodal future for Baltimore, and with the help from all of these people, we're going to get there. We're getting there uh, even as we speak. Bicycles are not the complete answer, but they are an important piece of the puzzle. And with leadership from Mayor Pugh, who has her foot on the gas, maybe I should say foot on the pedal, and others in the city, council members who are here, Council President Young, uh, we are on our way towards becoming a leader in multimodal transportation and in bicycling in the United States. Within the last year, we've launched the bike share. In the next month or so, we'll be expanding, over, doubling the bike share capacity in the city. We have put in major pieces of the downtown bike network and other network uh, lanes throughout the community. And just recently, the Planning Commission adopted a separated bike lane plan as an addendum to the city's bike master plan that's going to put uh, protected lanes and other uh, lanes to make a low-stress bike network throughout the entire city. So we've got to figure out how to get that paid for and how to get it installed, and it's going to take everybody's support. This is a, a very cost-effective way to provide transportation. And it responds to a market need. People want this. People want to be able to ride their bicycles around Baltimore. It's also equitable because too many people in Baltimore don't have access to cars. And bikes are an inexpensive alternative for people to get around, to do their daily chores, and particularly to get to work. I want to make particular note of the downtown partnership and the Department of Social Services, which together are launching today the downtown partnership access pass. Uh, for just a few dollars a month, is it three dollars a month? Um, you'll be able to, um, uh, the first 300 people who are eligible uh, will receive a pass that will allow them to have access to the bike share program. We're very concerned about making sure, thank you. So Kirby Fowler is here from the Downtown Partnership. He rode to work today. And uh, we are very committed, the mayor is very committed to making sure that the bicycle infrastructure and the bike share program is accessible to everybody, this is a really, really good start. So we really appreciate, Kirby, your commitment and your partnership with the uh, Department of Social Services. Um, so in short, uh, bike infrastructure and bike share are about economic development. They're about business climate for the city. They're about tourism, and they're simply about getting to and from work. So here we are on Bike to Work Day demonstrating, if you look around the city, all these folks who are riding to work. Business owners are demanding of the city that the city create better bike infrastructure because their employees are demanding that they get to work and be able to put their bikes uh, in a safe place during the day and be able to ride them home safely at the end of the day. And uh, to that end, I'll just tell you that the uh, commission this year intends to launch a, certi a certification program where businesses uh, and buildings who facilitate Biking to Work will receive a certification from the city and will recognize their efforts in trying to facilitate 
uh, their employees coming to work, staying at the, at the office during the day, and then being able to ride home in the evening. So more on that to come, but we look forward to doing that. And I, I hope people will, will join us and join up when the opportunity presents itself. So again, I want to thank everybody for participating in Bike to Work Day. Again, thank Mayor Pugh for her leadership. Frank, you and your department have been terrific, and our state partners, so we thank you very much. Thank you, John, and thank you for your tireless advocacy on behalf of Bicycling in Baltimore. So that includes our program.